Down Lane on 100 FM, The Pike. We do it every Friday at this time. We play back your messages uh, that you've left during the week on the Pike Breakdown Lane, commenting on pretty much anything that we're talking about on the show or anything at all, really. There we go. There's some uh, appropriate music for the day right now. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into this week. Well, Shu, uh, I think I think I have you to blame for my conversion to the religion of hockey. I've been listening to the morning show, driving into work, and I hear your conversations with Jay Smooth, and I think it's just finally wormed its way into my brain that I'm now obsessed with the sport. Probably shouldn't mention who I support, especially not in this part of the country, because, you know, that could be bad news for me. But uh, I'm excited. I'm going to go see the Railers uh, on Saturday. should be fun. Hi, Mike. This is... Oh, hold on a second there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you missed our interview with uh, Jay Smoothie, uh, head coach of uh, your Worcester Railers, uh, you can get that at pikefm.com, and they're having a big uh, St. Patrick's Day uh, game uh, tomorrow night. Got some green jerseys they're going to be auctioning off. Should be a lot of fun, and always a good time at the Railers games. They've got five more years over there at the DCU Center. At least, yeah. Yeah, which is nice. Hi, Mike. This is Ron from Shrewsbury. It seems to me that the uh, the middle finger is a lot easier to shove out the window than actually sticking your arm out, turning your hand upside down. It's uh, The middle finger is a lot quicker, a lot easier, and more to the point. Hey, take care. Bye. Okay, first of all, Ron sounds like such a nice guy, like he never used the middle finger. But the- we were talking about earlier, uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, yes. that uh, there's a thing going around where you should give a thumbs down instead of the mingle, middle finger when you're driving because... It's less aggressive, and you want the other driver to know that you're not angry. You're just disappointed. <laughs> I've gotten the thumbs down on the road. I should try that. I, I I haven't done any thumbs. I'm sticking to the traditional bird. Same. But maybe I'll try that for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, That should be interesting. So we'll see what happens. Thumbs down, and All then right. I blow them kisses. Passive right. aggressive. All right. That, thank you for your call, Ron. I appreciate it. Mike, it's God. Look, it's St. Patrick's Day. I assume you're both already drunk, so I'll keep this as brief as I can. But, Mike, you, uh, you might want to put some sweet Irish music behind this because go, I've buddy. got some things to say, and I'll be saying them. Oh. Look, whether you're Protestant or Catholic or anything outside or in between today, you're welcome at the table. My corned beef is your corned beef. <laughs> you're all Irish today, and so, my sweet Irish children, I say to you, go out there and get lucky. Because today, on this blessed day of whiskey and whimsy and song, you, my children, you make your own luck. So have a pint on me, and if the bartender tries to throw you out, <laughs> tell him you know God. Happy St. Patrick's Day, boys. Wow. I did look it up, Adam. Yeah. Um, it depends on the bishop in your area, but uh-huh. generally they're saying you can eat whatever meat you want today. Oh. So, you know, you want steak tips, you want chicken parm. Not just corned beef. Right. You want pork chops. Go to town today, because next Friday, if you eat any of that stuff, you're going to hell. All right, just remember that. All God right. was uh, poetic uh, this morning. He sounded like he had had, maybe he'd tippled a few already. He started on St. Patty's Day Eve, and once again, God uh, addressing only you and not me. I'm I'm sorry, Adam. I'm sure he knows you're here. I That's okay. Okay. Me and the Lord. Or me and God, I should mm. say, because the Lord is usually Jesus, right? Mm. I don't really know Jesus. I don't know Jesus that well. Yeah. But me and God have a have an understanding. And that's all I got to say about that. It's just between me and him. All right. Hi, Mike. Me, Satan again. What the hell? <laughs> Listen, God is a fish and bread guy. You know, this whole meat on Friday thing. <laughs> oh, me. Pizza? Me? <laughs> Give God all this credit. <laughs> that's it. I'm out of here. I don't know why I even try. <laughs> Satan out. That's right. God is a fish and loaves guy. Or was that Jesus also? I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, I only pray during the playoffs. Yeah, that's usually when I, you know, I always say, you know, I know I don't go to church, but please just let them just let them get a security goal. Just let them get a single here. We need a yeah. couple of RBIs. Please. It sounds like a barbecue downstairs. Really? In, in hell. Oh, yeah. It's, it sounds like a good time. <laughs> we learned last week that the devil is also a Rush fan, so... Mm. I might go down there, see what they're doing. Oh, you might not have a choice. Hey, you, Adam Webster, uh, probably sitting across from you right now, just want to remind you while I'm thinking about it to not let another morning go by uh, without us trying pizza today. All right, happy Friday, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you for reminding me. I totally brought in pizza from Thompson House of Pizza in uh, North Grosvenordale. <laughs> And uh, they're the ones that kicked out uh, I Love Frankie's here in Worcester on our Saucy 16 bracket. So here, yeah. 
I forgot I placed that phone call. Like, I think it was like Wednesday at like 2 a.m. Yeah. (laughs) I forgot I placed that. We got some. I I went down there. And first of all, Thompson House of Pizza is in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's in the middle of like a very rural area. Uh, and really inexpensive, mm. and the people there are very nice. Well, this looks good. Yeah, and uh, it took everything I had not to eat the whole thing driving back to Worcester. Well, this looks good. All right, well, this is in the finals. Yeah, um, no, yeah, uh, yeah no. This, oh, this actually got booted out today. But I just wanted to see what kind of pizza kicked out Frankie's. I gotta be honest, it's not bad. Yeah, it's it's good solid pizza. It's, it's Greek, not Frankie. It's Greek style. I'd have to say Frankie's is a little better. Yeah. Yeah. But this is this is good pizza and it's great value. How much is a pie? I think it was like eight, eight, nine dollars. That's or something a lot cheaper like than Frankie. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper like, than Frankie. I don't know. You gotta check. Go you can look them up on their Facebook page, Thompson House of Pizza. Mm, that's good. Nice guys down there. Mm. Mm. Are that's we good. on are we in the air? No, no it's good oh, pizza. Sorry. Let me put that down. Oh, that's good pizza. I'm just that is a good sauce. It is. Yeah, I like a nice tart sauce, and that's a good sauce. Mm. All right, thanks for um Oh yeah, that's that's good. Right? Thanks for uh, calling in to the breakdown lane. We do it uh, every uh, Friday at this time and again, we will never sell your information. We'll never call you back cuz we just don't really <laughs> know how. Well-